Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and configure the Digital Downloads uh, S3 plugin for use with the WooCommerce. Um, so I'm assuming that before you start this you have logged in to both your WordPress site and your Amazon S3. So once the plugin is installed and activated it will appear here and the S3 downloads in the WooCommerce directory. And you choose that. Now I'm going to delete the keys because I've already had them set up. And now you need to set up your security credentials to allow the WooCommerce uh, plugin to access. The easiest way to do that is to go to security credentials, right click, open tab. Remember we're already logged in to Amazon S3. So this is going to open another tab and we have access keys here. So you want to create a new access key. Actually I just want to delete one while I'm here because that's the one that I was using in this example before. So I'll delete that one. Now create a new access key. Now you can download a key file, save that to desktop, go back to the WooCommerce application, browse, desktop, root key, open, upload. Now, we can easily find out if it works, because if it works, we will be able to choose, and we can, from our bucket. And I can choose a file. Remember, if you upload a file with spaces in the file name, you can't use this plugin. You must have uh, changed it to an underline or something like that to stop the error. And then generate shortcode. And there's your short code which you can use in your products. And that's all you need to do. On the other side though, on the Amazon S3 side, if I go to that bucket where we've just got the files, if you're using this plugin, you can actually change the if I go to properties, permissions, you only need to grant open access to authenticated users. As if you're just sharing it normally um, without this plugin, like this file here, you would have to grant open use to everyone because they're using effectively this link. The nice thing about the plugin is that they are once you get that this plugin is your granting to authenticate users this link does not work so it's much more secure we use an authenticated link to download the file which is why when I finish these videos, I'll be deleting these demo files so no one else can use them. So don't try. And that's all you need to do. After you've got that, you can go back to your WooCommerce. You have your link here, which you can copy. And then we go back into your products. that link you put in your URL here and then you just give it a name over the top. You put a name if you don't put a name in here then this gets seen. You don't want it seen because it looks silly. So you put the content in there and you put a name in there and then that name is what's seen on the product when they try and download it. And that's how you use the plugin. Thanks for watching.